get a headset over there. All Our right. Top five fastest so far. Joey Logano. Joey Logano. Still the fastest. Out of the gate. While Dale Jr. puts on those headphones, hopefully you can hear us. Joey Logano has the fastest speed here around Daytona. 47.66. Okay. I know, Junior, you used to be a gamer. Are you still a big gamer? You still play these NAS NASCAR.com? Or um, NASCAR.com. The NASCAR yeah. game? Yeah, I mean, I haven't really raced a lot online in, in, in the last several years. Uh, and actually, my performance on the on the on, on my real jobs kind of reflected that. But <laughs> um, I really, you know, I really enjoy it. And the games, the way the, the the technology has gotten so much better over the last several years, has really been impressive. I mean, this track it looks like I'm going around the real track. So. Oh yeah. Well, while you warm up here, let me ask you. Fans love the access off. Uh, off the track. You started a podcast last year for all your fans to call in and gripe and do whatever they wanted to, Dirty Mo Radio. That's continuing this year. And you got your sister involved? Is that what I hear this year? Yeah, she's going to do a show and uh, we're just going to have, we're going to have like three or four different shows. So there's kind of, there's more going on and a lot more content for the fans to really get a hold of and enjoy and, and try to give them a lot more insight on what we got going on and not only life on the racetrack but off of it i think so, it's all a ploy because dale jr's not on twitter this is just to appease all his fans well dirty mo radio is now going to air dirty laundry by his sister kelly <laughs> yeah, be all, right. all right you're on the clock for the first of two laps how are you feeling i feel pretty good i mean the car's steering's a little quick but um i haven't hit any walls yet i think that's pretty important that's so. good that's good hugging that yellow line it seems fast i, I understand i'm yeah. not going to be able to do that i'm sure as well as some guys that you've seen but Sorry to be Joey a must be spending here. some time on here. Do you ever get frustrated as a driver when the crew chief won't stop talking to you in your ear? <laughs> You're trying not to really. drive? No, not really. Yep, Matt Kenseth is over Matt here trying. Over I think here. he wants yeah, to play. Matt, Matt Kenseth wants Hopefully to Hopefully he doesn't mess in. with your lap. Matt's going to come over here and mess with my lap. I'm uh, sure he's eyeing you. That's his MO. <laughs> Hopefully he stays away. Coming up on lap one. Now, at, like obviously you know you're Dale Earnhardt Jr. This lap will be a little uh, slower than the 40, next one. 7784. 4784. I think that was one of the fastest first laps we've seen. Yeah, that so, means he's you're doing pick well. Up. Wow, that was good. Didn't expect that. We've only seen 48s in that first lap. So, so this, this is 4766, right? Is our fastest lap so far? We'll see if Dale Jr. What did I run? 4784. Oh. Coming down that back stretch. I know. It's I'm afraid it's to Saturday. talk to him. I'm <laughs> no, like, I'm feeling it. Now that we know the lap's going, I'm sorry to get out of here. <laughs> Watching his lap. Kind of a, you know, it's kind of annoying. You're trying to concentrate. People won't stop talking to you. I can imagine. But he's hearing all this right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Take us through this lap. This I didn't lap. have a good entry into three, for sure. But this is coming to the checker, didn't it? Yep. There we go. 46, 47. Oh, 40, 50. I think. We're going to the judges for the official result. I think you did a pretty good lap, though, so just mm -hmm. wait for us. Right. Let's see. What is it? Do you get We're competitive waiting. off the track, Dale? 56? Hey. 47.56? All right. The right. on so top far. of the board. Dale Dale or run. Am I the top only of the like board. the second guy to do this? No, you're no. the seventh. <laughs> okay. Seven, seven just drivers have solid. gone. Yeah, all right. Look at that. Bring it home. And Good the stuff. fans on NASCAR.com just erupted. Yeah. They're glad they're watching. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here. NASCAR. Great way to kick off Speedweek. Absolutely. With a victory. That is oh. really cool. And you could see the excitement in his face from a simple video game. That's but the best no part. No doubt. It was fun to watch Dale Jr. And he just walked away with a little pep in his step. Like, yeah, I'm the fastest. <laughs> it's seeing how competitive these guys are, whether it's a racing game, racing, you know, out there. You know, heck, I'm sure if they're playing pickup basketball or something. I mean, they just want to beat each other. And yeah. Still be friendly, I hope, afterwards. That was fun. That was fun. It's good. You know, Dale Jr. is so comfortable in his own skin. This last year, I've seen a transformation in Dale Jr. If you fans haven't seen it, you just keep watching him because he truly has transformed in the last year. I had a great opportunity to sit down with him last year on his property and, and we had this very candid conversation and it lasted over well over an hour. And it was just a, a new side of Dale Jr. opening up and letting the world see a part of his personal life. And I think Steve Letarte was a big factor in him making that transformation and letting Dale Jr. be comfortable in his own skin and be comfortable with this, the media, and everything that surrounds being a 
famous race car driver and legend uh, son from Dale Earnhardt Sr. And I, I just feel like there's good things to come, and he's very genuinely happy for Steve Letart and his future for 2015 at NBC Sports. And as you said, that personal relationship should only translate to better, and we've seen it so far, better and better results on the racetrack. We didn't get a chance to ask about the five-second plays, but you know how a race car driver is going to uh, feel about that. Yeah, he doesn't want to talk about last year, I'm sure. Yeah, but He wants uh, to talk about this year. Th those second-place finishes will, will translate into something uh, bigger and better, hopefully. And, you know, maybe it, it it already started, uh, you know, here for NASCAR 14. So, yeah. and again, now if you if you were watching just a few seconds ago, Dale Earnhardt Jr. put down the fastest lap on NASCAR 14. Here's a little highlight. Here's Trevor Bain. He's